Wait, did you just say that there's headphones that I can just try on here, no pressure, yeah. and I can get a coffee? Exactly. What? There's only a few things you really need in Singapore. Sunglasses, which I've forgotten, but that's okay. They're optional. Comfy t-shirt, pair of shorts, and above all else, the easy link card. Simply the key to the entire island. We're going all the way to the top. Who doesn't like a good double-decker bus, am I right? We're out of the bus. Next, we get onto the train. As a side note, the street food here is off the hook, but I think that's a whole different vlog. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the size of that fan? That's huge! Stand up, Stacy. Where we're going right now, there's no place quite like art on the ceiling. There's no place quite like it. Now, some people will tell you that uh, there's a building in Japan that's similar. I've been to that building. It's not like this. And if you're an audiophile, and if you happen to be in Singapore, there's simply no way you should leave before you check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Adelphi. I know, I know it says lifestyle mall, but I mean, there's a couple of things there that are dedicated to other hobbies. There's a, there's a, there's a place for coin collectors, rare coins and stamps and such, I think. But by and large, this is all about audio. Literally four stories of just audio stuff. How cool is that? Now, as cool as all this is, we're not actually here to talk about speakers. We're here to talk about earphones, IEMs, headphones, and two places that I absolutely adore. One of which was responsible for actually driving me down this crazy rabbit hole, or at least oh, encouraging the addiction anyway. Jabin, I came to the store 10 years ago and I bought my first DAC and IEM. I can't remember which one it is. The DAC was something like a FIO E10K, something on those lines. Sub $50 did the trick. Significant upgrade over anything I had on board my computer or my phone at the time or my iPod I had an iPod it had my name engraved on the back remember when they did that Well, oh, that's a collectible now actually they stopped manufacturing never gonna sell it though It's got my name on it and about earphones now all of this was budget, but the step up in sound was so good I can never look back and the whole reason why that was even possible was that places like Jabin existed. Places where you could go, you could sit, you could try out IEMs, DACs, headphones, didn't matter. And you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. You can just listen, learn, and then figure out what you really like and spend your money on that. For those of us on a budget, 
that's a godsend. And the man himself, he's actually standing right here to this day, still manning the store. Hi. <laughs> I actually went over to the old place and the shop wasn't there. I got a little worried. I asked around. They said, no, no, it's still here. It's just on the other side. So super happy to have found you. Super happy to see that the place is still alive and kicking. And clearly, I mean, as you can see, they've got a lot of stuff. Lots of fitness. Lots Check this out. This. You can make it on any color you want. Fit it to your ear, I believe. How, how's things right now, though? Well, since they opened up, uh, things have been picking up, but not as fast as we wanted it. Oh, for I think, sure. I think more people are traveling, spending the money traveling. Uh, do you see any major shift in trend in the, over the years? Prior to the lockdown, right, yeah. the headphone business, as in headphones, was just on a decline. The lockdown uh, took place, right? headphones just uh, went all the way up. Okay. And then earphones went down. So we, we can confirm now that earphones is more of a portable thing yeah something that people take outdoors and so on absolutely and headphones is something they use uh, uh, yeah because people were sitting at home right. they actually splashed out on headphones right. instead okay so given the preference then people might actually want headphones it's just that it's not that convenient that's correct that's, that's correct. interesting have you got any interesting new stuff lately my friend take a look every day we're getting new too stuff. much huh? just we <laughs> Oh, what's that? This is the Lime Years Anima. See, this is something that's happening quite a lot. Uh, this won't show on camera. Not only are the housings getting bigger, the bore size that's going into your ear is also getting wider and wider. I don't remember ever seeing a 6mm bore size going into your ear, but we have those now. And I'm wondering who it fits, this sort of thing. Um, uh, there are people, of course, but uh, it's not for me, I can tell you. <laughs> There's only so much abuse my ears can take. I, I use etymotics, uh -huh. so I already abuse my ears a lot. <laughs> this is next level. But anyway, I won't keep you. You seem to be very busy. It was lovely meeting you, Uncle. Pleasure. I'll see you around. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, we'll do. Drop by anytime. 100%. You know I will. Absolutely. Bye-bye. How cool was that? That's awesome to get to actually meet someone you had met that long ago and oh, that's cool. This is why, see, there's an entire community here and it's a long lasting thing. I don't know how this all started. I don't know how Singapore became what it is for audiophiles, but <laughs> can you imagine the community here, the conversations that must go on in the audiophile community here? <sighs> now, another one of those stores that has perhaps a little more recent in this at least i haven't seen them before maybe they've been around for a little bit is av1 i actually met the owner the other day he's not in today so i don't think i can do much of an interview here but this is like a modern take on this and that everything just looks spiffy and modern but same concept basically you get in there you sit you talk to the people behind the counter who are also all audiophiles and then you just listen, see what you like, and then spend your money where you want instead of just blindly spending money on Amazon and figuring out what you want and then having to send it back and so on. Incredible places. But where we're going today feels like a little bit of an evolution. What if you took this concept and took it one step ahead? Okay, so where we're going next? That way. Or was it that way? You know what? Oh, it worked. Every time, it always works. The, the old finger snap, I mean, you just... This is why I love YouTube. It makes traveling so much easier. You just snap the old finger and boom, you're there. Totally didn't cut to that. Was that, where am I? Oh, um, right. That is Simlim Square and that... Well, how do I explain this? Okay, look, if you want to buy tech, you can get it here. If you have tech, and if you want it repaired, you can also get it here. If you want audio equipment, or if you want to set up a stream room, or if you want to set up a studio, or if you want, you get the idea. Literally the most insane tech mall out here, period. Right, it's not fancy. It's not fancy like your fancy malls, but it's just different. Come take a look. Also, can I just say this city is so pedestrian friendly, which Dubai, I mean, I think they're trying to be in the future, but they're just not yet. You can literally walk the whole city. It's super, super friendly and you can hop onto a bus or a train if you get a little tired and you're done. Like you don't need a car here, which is just as well because cars are insanely expensive. So I guess it was all part of the plan, huh?
Is that made from jade? Is that whole thing made from jade? What? Radio controlled cars, if that's your thing, right here. No, that's not your thing? You're into keyboards, mechanical keyboards you say? Right there, this place is insane. But I'm getting distracted, we're not here for the tech, no, no. We're here for the evolution, the next evolution. If you go to Google and you type in headphone cafe, this is what you're going to find. Did someone say headphone cafe? Uh, uh, hi. Yeah, hi. Hi, my name is Feng and that's Christy. Hi, hi guys, you, you, you guys, this is your place? Yes. Okay, do you mind if we have a look inside? I'm super curious. Of course, let's go. Let's do it. Right. Yeah, so we put a door so that it transports us into a different place totally. Yeah, it's her idea. <laughs> okay. That was your idea? Yes. Wait, otherwise this, this was just a shop opening? No, yeah. no door, nothing? Because there's a lot of neon lights, there's a lot of bars going on, so we wanted it to be a bit like an oasis at a corner. So how does this place work? So the layout okay, is pretty simple. So the, the setup is from casual to more serious. It's gotcha. all the wireless headphones. Oh, I see. Which are very, very accessible. Most people know about them. That's true. And then as you pan to your right side, you will start to see, oh, these are the more wired headphones. And then as you walk into the store, as we continue, walking in, you will start to be able to see the audio bar. And the audio bar oh. is when you start to see headphones and specific earphones that are actually, uh, I would say, more unique, more boutique. I see the plan here. Uh, this is not, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's clearly, this is devilish, this is smart, and this is ingenious. Because, get this, most of us, most of us, use the wireless stuff, right? Use the basic stuff, you come in, we're expecting some Bose, right there. I see what's happening. So you know this is an audio store. You walk in and you say, ooh, let me try some of this stuff. And then you go and have a coffee and a cake, and then you just sit here, right? You're just sitting here, you're Googling things. And then you slowly walk in and then they trap you with better and better audio. Some graders, some audio technicas, just chilling by the wall. You just take one, you just go sit down, easy. Wireless station, you've even got those things, the shocks things, you know, the ones that don't actually go into your ear and work on vibrations, I forget what they're called, but even if you're a fan of that stuff, they've got it right here. And then you step up to, well, more audio technicas, but also the focals and a whole bunch of IEMs that you guys got to see. It's some incredible stuff over there. But that's the plan, guys, to get more of you into this rabbit hole. And I approve. <laughs> you, know, you know, no matter how people like music or whatnot, sometimes it's a bit difficult to try. Just like our tagline, audio coffee people. We wanted to break down the barrier, making it inclusive instead of exclusive for people, uh, where they can come in, try and test uh, while not feeling uncomfortable. So there's coffee and cakes to go along. Wait, did you just say that there's headphones that I can just try on here, no pressure, yeah. and I can get a coffee? Exactly. Yes. What? That's crazy. There's We're much definitely going to try out the cafe here before leaving. So I got to ask you, I mean, audio is great and all. Yeah. But what's your favorite cake? I see there's only two on display right now. So yeah. obviously, whatever's there is gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is my favorite cake? So our cakes here rotate um, as, as the weeks go by. Okay. So the ones that are my favorite is not on rotation currently. It's just to space out the calories because if yeah. we keep ordering our favorites, you know, we wouldn't be able to fit into this door. Exactly. But... <clears throat> That's a commentary on me. You guys can't see the bottom. There's a reason vloggers don't let you see below this point. <laughs> I can see it's not a wide angle. No, you know, it's five. not. No, it's not. Okay, so in Singapore, there are local. We, we actually choose a baker where they can incorporate local yes. flavors. Okay. So there's a cake that is called uh, pandan kaya. Oh, yes, please. That sounds amazing. amazing. So that's my favorite and it's not on display now. Okay. And is that yours as well? or So definitely worth coming here when that's in stock as well. Huh? Just to definitely. taste that at, yes. at least. Exactly. Now, I noticed that there's also a fancy little door there. What is this? Now, we've seen the place. Yeah. 
but we have yet to meet the people. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit of background? Now he tells me that you're the actual founder of the place. You started this place off about five years back. Yeah. 2016. 16. Yeah. I have to admit, I've been coming to Singapore on and off for about many years. Right. I don't want to age myself on camera. <laughs> but, but I have heard of this place maybe two, two and a half years ago-ish. And uh, because of COVID, of course, I wasn't yeah. able to travel here. Right. But now that we're here, I'm so glad I came and visited. What made you actually start this kind of place? You say that maybe you weren't, like, you weren't aware of open backs and things. So I'm guessing maybe you were just a casual audio listener before? Very casual. Very casual, okay. <laughs> to be specific, it was a, a pair of beats. That was really? Fake. Beats. Fake beats. <laughs> How does fake beats even get you into something because, like this? You know, actually, I was uh, in between jobs. Right? Uh -huh. so I was helping my dad. Right. He was in a consumer electronics business. Right. I was helping him, and then I found that he was actually selling some earphones. Okay. And then I realized that earphones can get expensive. So yeah. here I am conquering the world with my $10 beads. It's beautiful, it's white, it's got a flat stripe, it doesn't tangle. Mm -hmm. And then what I did was I took one of the earphones at that time, I can't remember which one, mm -hmm. and I plugged it into my iPod and just got a shock of my life. Like ah, something okay. happened. Right. Right. So of course the $10 one is a fake. So I really don't know what that's made of. It's probably the same free <laughs> thing you get. And then with the iPod, and then I discovered music players. But then there were these small little boutique companies making super good sounding quality stuff. But admit it, like none of my friends would ever want to be seen with one of those devices. So Fair enough. So there's that. But, and then there were some who already knew their stuff. I don't know how they got started, you know, but they knew about stuff. And when talking to them, I realized it was through a friend. It's, it's almost like a hidden trove of people that you don't... And most people don't actually talk about it. So the long story short is because like that day when I realized that there could be a lot of people like me. Right. And um, also from the experience I got stepping into other audio shops, which was like not fun, you know, because mm. you go in and honestly, I'm just lost. So that's one, the lack of um, awareness. Uh, right. And that's where we want to really talk, start talking about sound. But then to do that, you need to go to a store. And yep. to do that, you need to sit down and try. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you're standing there and a the salesperson is looking at you. Yeah. For, what are you going to buy? What are you going to do? Yeah. At it's some very point, uncomfortable. So then, then I just wanted to start this space, you know. Yeah. Um, there are no beautiful audio shops. Audio shops are privy to men only because the ladies want to be elsewhere. Yeah. They don't really want to be in an so, audio store. On that point, yeah. as a YouTuber, yeah. most of the people in my niche, including myself, 98.5% yeah. of my subscribers I know because I checked <laughs> are male. 1.5% yeah. is female. So whoever you are, Thank Kudos, you. Keep right? Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going. But we've got another one here and she yeah. actually started her own thing. So there's definitely, it's, it's a big world yeah. waiting to be explored. So I gotta ask uh, though, you started this in 2016. 2016. And you joined a I, little bit later? I joined a little bit later. I joined two and a half years back, roughly. Uh, Christy, she happens to be my sister. Okay. Uh, she, since she has this and I've always, you no, know, we've always known that, you know, helped her out you know in, in the beginning like uh, when you were starting up long story short is we the for me we wanted to me and her both had the same idea but like for me it's more clearer in the sense that we want to bring the soul back to retail mm. right and how do we bring the soul back to retail we must be able to update retail into a certain <laughs> environment that people now can understand and it's not exclusive as we already mentioned so many times right we want to be inclusive and what I saw as an outsider coming in is that the hobby is very, very, very... Um, they kind of break themselves up into a small clique, right. right? And then they box themselves in. So they are saying that you versus us, but actually for me, I see everyone's got a pair of ears. So actually this hobby could reach out all the way to the masses. You just need to stop building walls. As I was saying earlier, people walk in with no knowledge and whatnot. Yeah. You guys, I know you try to be hands up, but you cannot be here all the time. It's yeah. impossible yes. because you're managing a business and exactly. life as well. Yeah. yeah. Those guys I saw, uh, there's a barista yep. behind the bar is, and there is a guy at the sushi bar, yes. as you called it. Yes. And there's probably one or two more. Yeah, so 
right now, all of us make coffee. Yes. And all of us, all of us are baristas, and all, all of us, us are audio. So everybody can switch it on to whatever yes. is required. Yes. Okay. It's not designated, exactly so everyone actually right. can do everything. All right. Let's uh, let, let's go have a chat. Let's go say hi to some of the people that make this place run. Exactly. So if you guys come here, you're likely to meet some of these people. Uh, one of whom is sitting right. Here. Just say hi. hi. And his name is Tush. Hi, hi Tush. How's it going? Tush, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is your coffee making skill? He's 10 out of 10. He's, he's that good, huh? He's, he's good. Whoa, he's very good, yeah. okay, I might have to try that out later. What are you listening to right now? I use mostly in the Okay. Okay. And uh, do you have a favorite right now? Yeah, Odin. Everybody is on the Odins, man. There's something, I have to try them. I've heard about them, I have to try them. That's crazy. Hi, how's it going? Can you say hi to the camera? Hi, Fadli. I am the guy who takes pictures for Zep. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Social videos. Media, yeah. Goes along. Yes. So um, he's very passionate. And, uh, mm -hmm. Always a friendly voice for all the yes. customers. Super yes. awesome. So yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Uh, just drop by, and we're more than happy to have you guys out. Absolutely. But the real question. That guy over there, the guy behind the bar, okay. he says he makes the best coffee around yes. here. Yes. You agree? Yes, I agree. Definitely. Please just okay. go ahead. This it's, is not even an it's, issue. It's, it's, yeah. no contest. There's no contest. Okay. Oh, it's okay. definitely he 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 makes coffee from the heart, and you can feel the warmth, and you can taste it. It's legit. Please yeah. come make content for me, cause this is a hype beast. Right here. <laughs> this is how you hype someone up. Yes. We're gonna get we'll it immediately. We'll get a coffee. We'll get a coffee yes. before yeah. we go. So uh, we have another staff called James who actually, uh, I tasked him to manage our inventory. And then I have, we have uh, Jeremy as well, who does the copywriting okay. for the blogs. So our own blogs are all written generally by Jeremy. That's about it. And then we've got a bookkeeper and she's very shy. But the crew. we have very yes. interesting job right. titles where you can find out from our webpage. Yeah, go to our webpage, you will be able to see on uh, About Us. Go to our team, you get to see the full descriptions of everyone. Currently. That's awesome. I'm about to sit down, relax, get a coffee now before I head out. Got my headphones, got my music, got my coffee. Mm. Okay, that's that's actually quite nice. Stay happy, stay peaceful, stay colorful. Namaste. Oh yeah. <laughs>